Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. When you turn on your HP computer, you can see that it says HP battery alert, primary internal battery 601 error code. It's telling you that the BIOS has detected the battery is something is wrong with it. Okay, so if you're getting this error message, then um, I'll walk you through step by step and you can follow along the video. We'll be replacing the battery together. All right, the first thing first is to go ahead and shut down your computer. You can press and hold the power button until that computer turns off and you can unplug the charger. So let me tell you a little bit story about the laptop here. Um, the battery can be fully charged at 100% and usually it takes about maybe 15-20 minutes and the 100% battery would just die off. So I don't think the battery would only last me 15 minutes or so. So therefore I know that the battery is going out. At the same time that the charging, it takes forever to charge, maybe from zero to 100%. My laptop is taking about four and a half to five hours to charge 100%. And it only takes about 15 minutes to drain the entire battery. So I know the battery is giving out. And that error message I was showing you earlier that indicates you need to change the battery all right let's get right into it the first thing you need to do is to remove the um, uh, the rubber stopper because they are hidden screw underneath that rubber stopper there so let's go ahead and remove them use a phillips screwdriver this is a ph1 screwdriver There's one screw on the left and two screws on the right. And you want to use a smaller screwdriver for the bottom three screws. All right, once you have removed the three screws, now the next step is to pry open the um, laptop. So if you take a closer look, the back cover and the laptop, there's a line in between. That is the separation line that I'm talking about that you need to pry it open. So that is the line. So get yourself a metal prying tool. And best is to use the plastic if you have one so that you do not make a scratch or a dent or anything to the, to the laptop. Okay, so you might find a little bit difficult to open, but once you get a good grip of the back cover, you can just pry it open by, you know, removing it. The back cover is just kind of a clip-on thing on the side, so it's clip-on. Sometimes it's hard to remove. You just have to wiggle and pry it open. If you take a closer look here, this is your entire computer and the battery is at the bottom right corner. Now this laptop does not have a CMOS battery. It does not run on a CMOS because the main battery is feeding through the motherboard. Just keep that in mind. There's no CMOS and uh, it's feeding off the main battery. Now if you take a closer look at my battery here, you can see that my battery is swollen. You can see that lump right there. So there's a very lumpy battery and it's hard it's really really hard there's one the second cell and the third cell so there are three cells here in the battery and all three of them are just lumpy swollen and became fatty okay so that indicates my battery is bad and it is time for a replacement so go ahead and remove the screw there's one two and three Actually, there are four screws. So once you remove all the four screws, and the battery will just come right off. Okay, now take another closer look. I was referring to the lump. As you can see that the battery is swollen. Okay, meaning that the cell in the battery is just giving out. Now, if you travel with the bad battery, let's just say if you go on an airplane, so that airplane, 
the plane is decompressorized the air in the plane might make things even worse so um, always check your battery I mean if you feel like the battery is, is too old please change the battery now if you're not sure where to buy the battery from look up for the model here is HT03XL or maybe the replacement part which is L11119-855 and I will link the battery and the tools in the description below so if you want to um, if you're interested to buy the replacement part and the tools from Amazon or eBay please check the link below I'll link them and direct you directly to Amazon or eBay to find the exact replacement part all right so let's just say my new battery came in today and to install is very simple you just do the reverse process by doing so and put all the screws back in there are four screws one two three and four I know I do not have a new battery but I'm just demonstrate what you need to do after putting all the four screws to the battery and what you can do is to finally get the back cover installed by pressing it down so like I said it kind of like a clip on so you need to press it down and all the screws back to um, to the back cover now let me tell you a little secret that you already been watching for six minutes or so that um, at the end of the video let me share you a little tips do you know why your battery went out prematurely or died so quickly the reason is because you leave the charger plugged into your laptop try to think about it when was the last time you disconnect the charger was it like a month ago maybe like never so this is the reason why if you're gonna stationary the laptop on your desk and you're not travel with it you're not moving it around chances of you disconnecting the charger is almost to zero okay and this is the reason why when you leave the charger plugged in okay if you have the charger plugged in where's my plug okay one of the corner right there if you leave the charger plugged in and the charging is always charging the, the amber light or the white light it's always charging the battery and this is the reason why you have killed the battery very prematurely and the battery just went bad okay so my recommendation for you is do not charge it overnight when you're working on the computer you can charge the computer when you're done working with the computer when you shut it down or make it to sleep always always unplug the charger please do not overcharge overcharge your laptop all right that is my little secret tips for you because you are so nice you watch all the way to the end of the video and that is something I like to share with you and if you find the video is helpful please give me a like remember to smash that like button I would really appreciate you for doing so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe I really appreciate you for doing that and of course comment below let me know how did you do with the repair were you able to follow along the video and also any computer question related please comment below all right thanks for watching wish you all the best and good luck